Harry's Wife, Part 104.54, Things That Never Happened, for $500. Hello. You may have noticed that with regularity now, Harry's wife is not believed. There is a pattern of telling lies, the porky pies, the revisions of history, the contradictions, the straight-out whoppers. And this has resulted as a consequence of clear evidence that demonstrates that she tells lies, and that this has happened on repeated occasions. Now, in that regard, one has to bear in mind that she invariably does not recognise that she's lying. I know that many of you find this incredible, but if you want to understand the mindset of the unaware narcissist when it comes to telling untruths, you really must watch the truth, the half-truth, and nowhere near the truth to enable you to understand this phenomenon that occurs. Nevertheless, there's an article that appears in the Express by Tibalt Spilett that tells us Harry's wife pushed by close friends to tackle head-on issue plaguing Duchess for years. What might that be that her friends have been urging her to address? Have they been urging her to stop telling lies? Have they been urging her that she needs to stop using men to get ahead in life? Perhaps they've sought to persuade her to stop her talking utter beige bollocks. Perhaps they've decided that it's prudent of her to stop messing her family around and that she should treat them better. Maybe that they want her to stop the emphasis on social climbing, which, as you know, is a manifestation of her narcissism. But the Express tells her that her close friends have been urging her to tackle something head on. What might it be? Well, interestingly, but unsurprisingly, we don't hear from the friends saying, oh, we've all been telling Harry's wife that she needs to stop lying. Or, yes, we staged an intervention because we're concerned that all she ever does is draw men in, use them, spit them out the other end, and it's most unbecoming of her. Yes, we've got together because we wanted to see the error of her ways with regard to the treatment of her family. No, of course, we don't hear from the friends, which, of course, goes to the point of the things that never happened for $500 title of this video. Instead, we're told this. In the latest episode of her R.C. Wipes pod crap, the Duchess of Sussex reflected on how the word difficult is constantly being leveraged against women. While dissecting the word bitch, she said the conversation titled To Be or Not To Be was inspired by her close friends, who agreed Harry's wife had to tackle the term difficult, as it has become pervasive in all aspects of women's life. Yeah, right. That just simply didn't happen. Do you pop down the dog and duck on a Friday evening and meet up with your friends, and they all clamber around you and say, Tim, when you get a moment, we'd appreciate it if you could perhaps talk about toxic masculinity and how that's an outdated phrase and a more accurate assessment should be given. Absolutely, chaps, made a note of it all. Any other points you want me to put forward, I'll just get out my phone and bring up notes so you can give me some pointers. Thanks very much. And also, could you get some salt and vinegar, Chris, please, Tony? Or is it the case that you're there at the gym and you're doing a spinning class with your mates and you're huffing and puffing and they all lean in and they say, Psst, Kathy. We just wanted you to know that what we think would be a really good idea is if you talk about how gender identification needs to be updated when you're next writing a memo in your workplace. Absolutely, girls. Thanks. You all in agreement on that? Yes, we're urging you. We're pushing you to address this urgent issue. Thanks. I'll get onto it straight away. It simply doesn't happen like that, does it? When you pop down the dog and duck, there's a bit of badinage taking the piss. What do you think about last night's football result? Have you seen the new barmaid and the rack that she's got? Gosh, my wife doesn't talk to me anymore. Thank goodness she doesn't. Life is much easier to endure. The usual social lubrication that goes on, aided by the lubrication of a few jars of alcohol. 
you get together, you talk about friends, you talk about kids, you talk about politics, you talk about hopes and fears, depending on how close you are with the people that you're engaging with. You talk about how shit your football team is. You talk about the new play that you've been to see, or that there's a new film that you fancy, or have you watched this thing on Netflix? You talk about a friend who's perhaps not replied to a message and has upset you. What you don't do is all get together and say, hey, what we need you to do is tackle the term difficult as it has become pervasive in all aspects of women's life. Absolute horse shit. Nobody behaves that way. Naturally, of course, Harry's wife needs everybody to believe that one, she's got close friends, because she believes that she's popular, and two, that they got together and see her as a beacon a shining light, a pioneer that is there to lead people, that she's there to guide people through this dark veil and leave them out the other side to find enlightenment and insight. What it actually is, of course, is that her narcissism has created a checklist of all the bugbears that she has, all the things that have been levelled at her. You're a diva. You're an angry black woman, although quite who said that, I'm not sure, given that she looks white. You're difficult. You are ambitious, and that's a dirty word. You're a singleton. All of these things, you're a bimbo, must have been levelled at Harry's wife at some juncture, and her narcissism now having clambered onto a platform, has taken the view that what we can do is assert control over people by nullifying the threat that's posed by the use of these archetypes, which of course, as we all know, are stereotypes. So what we're going to do is use this as a crusade against these individual terms because they were once upon a time used against Harry's wife. Rather than be freely admitting that and saying, I've been called all of these things in my life and I don't like them, so I'm going to explore how they impact upon other people whilst talking about it and its impact upon myself. No. Her narcissism doesn't do that. Why? Well, to admit that she's been called those things, although she does engage in pity plays, will be going too far with regard to, regard to relinqu relinquishing control. Instead, it prefers to show her as the saviour, the person that's swooping in to take hold of these words, to challenge them, to strip them down, to dissect them and examine them on behalf of women everywhere. Remember, she sees herself as a strong independent woman, even though she repeatedly plays the victim card, driven by her narcissism. And thus, her narcissism doesn't want her to say, no, I've been called all of these words. It's ever so horrible. Instead, it causes her to believe that she's on this moral crusade, tackling these things when actually all she's doing is lashing out at the people that have used these terms, invariably, one would say justifiably, in relation to her. Again, she can't say, this is a bugbear for me, so I'm going to go through my own personal list. It has to be, Revision of history. My friends invited me, no, urged me to do this. The article carries on. Harry's wife noticed the word difficult comes up against women both in the workplace and in life. I mean, I was just chatting with my girlfriends recently and I was asking them for the show what sort of archetypes you think we should discuss. Again, ah, ah, didn't happen. Why? She's not going to ask her friends about what she should be talking about. She already knows what she's going to talk about because she knows everything. It's all her brilliant ideas. But she has to make it look like she's got friends. She has to make it look like she's collaborative. She has to make it look like she involves other people. Apparently, through this revision of history, it's reported, and almost immediately, unequivocally, they all jumped to difficult. That's the word. You have to talk about difficult again. Ah, ah, didn't happen. Even if such a conversation about what should we talk about came up, do you really think they're all going to go, yes, the pressing issue for me is being labelled as difficult. It simply isn't the case. She carries on with this revision of history, 
which she believes because her narcissism makes her believe it, they said it gets thrown around so casually now. And as a woman, my friend said to me, there's a certain point when you come to terms with the fact that not everyone is going to like you. No, nobody said that. The goal can't be for everyone to like you, but the goal can be for them to respect you. Again, that didn't happen, and it shows also her mindset, as I mentioned in parts passim, that she believes everybody should respect her from the moment they meet her, even though, of course, respect has been pointed out repeatedly, that she, that respect should be earned. In the episode, Harry's wife took aim at people who have caught her difficult. While Harry's wife and Harry were still serving as working royals in the royal family, reports circulated that suggested that the mother of two was given the label Duchess Difficult among royal staffers. Royal commentators claimed the former actress would fire off emails in the early hours of the morning and ask her staff with huge demands. Then goes on about it being a code word, of course, for bitch, which we've all heard her banging on about before. But quite simply... This conversation didn't happen, and it's an example of the way that Harry's wife's narcissism invents things in order to pursue those prime aims on her behalf as part of a personal vendetta to quash and nullify all of the observations and comments that have been made about her. Those are things which stick in the craw. They repeatedly pop up, and when they do, as they just pop into her head, they amount to a threat to control because she's reminded of those instances. A quick dip below the line of the Express to see what people think about these observations. Thinking 6-5. Many congratulations to whoever came up with the name Duchess Difficult, just a shame anyone had to suffer her abuse. Green Marlin. The B word was used to describe a woman who goes after what she wants. Now, Poor Harry famously claimed that what Harry's wife wants, Harry's wife gets. Therefore, Harry implies that his dear wife fits the B word. Gil Mags. What close friends? She has passing acquaintances. People step into her world briefly, get used and spat out, and hop off pronto if they have any sense. She didn't discuss this with anyone. It's all about her and payback. A close friend would have told her years back the home truths she resists. Indeed. India Flynn. Wonder what it must be like to have so many close friends that you can't actually name. She references them a lot, yet they are never seen or heard from other than through her. Harry's wife, name mates. Ms. Lou, she has close friends. Oh, wait, that's her looking in the mirror. LOL, and what she doesn't realise is there's a difference between the words difficult and abusive. She was abusive to her staff. Difficult doesn't make staff cry and quit. Abusive does. Adele says food. Newsflash. If you aren't difficult, you won't be called difficult. The women who succeed go through whatever they need as confident women who, unlike you, don't whine about it and actually get stuff done. You are difficult. You are a know-what. You are a you-know-what. You are a bully. You are all of these stereotypes you seem obsessed with. Real, successful women are out being successful, not sitting and crying. Don't you know who I am, damn it? Such a load of bullshit is the clear and concise observation there. Carla, verified proven lying Harry's wife. Her victims of bullying held high-caliber employment status within the palace. She's literally calling them all liars to cover her abuses. This woman is heading for a massive ending that's going to be celebrated, and we won't hear from her again. Sula91, Harry's wife pushed by close friends to tackle head-on issue, plaguing Duchess for years. Chlamydia? Farron Carl. Harry's wife may have money, but she has no class. Nobody believes her. Nobody likes her. It continues. And, of course, this conversation was invented by her narcissism in order to justify the vendetta that she's on. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.